All right, in this video, we have the integral of cosine of 4x times sine cubed 4x dx. So when you see this problem, you should automatically see that we need to do a u substitution. But if we substituted cosine of 4x as u, we're not going to be able to cancel anything. We're not, it's not going to get us where we want to be. So we're going to make the u substitution of sine of 4x. So u equals sine of 4x. And then we want to take the derivative of this. So we got du equals 4 cosine of 4x dx. And now we want to get dx by itself because dx in this is going to be replaced by du. So divide both sides, we end up with du over 4 cosine of 4x equals dx. So now that we've got that out of the way, we can go ahead and rewrite our integral and then solve it. So it now equals the integral of cosine 4x times u cubed du over 4 cosine of 4x. So as you can see, we chose the correct u because cosine of 4x and this cosine of 4x are both going to cancel out. So that goes away and that goes away, leaving us with u cubed du over 4. So we're going to pull out our 1 fourth in front of the integral sign. 1 over 4, leaving us with just u cubed du. Now from here is relatively easy because all we got to do is take the integral of u cubed. So that gives us 1 over 4 times, well, the integral of u to the third, that becomes u to the fourth and over 4. And at, at this point, since we're doing an indefinite integral, I'm going to add my plus c right now. I'm going to start doing that from here before I even finish. I just want it there because I know I'll forget if I don't do it off the start. So don't forget your plus c when doing an indefinite integral. Okay, now we can combine these two, multiply them together. We've got u to the fourth over 16 plus c. And then our final step is just replacing our u with our original function. So that equals sine to the 4 of 4x over 16 plus c. So really the hardest part when doing u substitution is trying to figure out which uh, function within the integral you want to substitute as your u. It can take a little bit of guessing and checking and maybe a little bit of pulling out your own hair and frustration trying to figure out what it is. But hopefully this video helps you figure out how to go about doing U substitution. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.